Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, Badass and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the remainder of May 2024. I'm going to pull a seven card spread, see who shows up in your reading today with romantic intentions towards you. Whether it's somebody new or someone you already know, my job is to see who you're interacting with the remainder of the month, see what your story is with this person, see how you guys are showing up for one another, how you feel about one another, and to see if you can trust this person's intentions. And I'll also be looking into your potential blind spot with this person too meaning what could challenge hinder you know restrict the relationship from growing followed by your advice just keep an open mind that i do tend to get very nosy in these readings i don't hold back i give the good the bad the ugly and everything in between your job is to only take what resonates with you leave what doesn't apply and to never give your power away to tarot cards you are in full control over your decisions so with that being said let's get nosy Spirit, please tap into the energy of Sagittarius today. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Who is Sagittarius connecting to for the remainder of May 2024? And can Sagittarius trust this person? What's their story together? And how will their situation play out for the remainder of May? Sagittarius is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them today. As long as what comes through is for their highest and greatest good. Two more shuffles, please. One. Two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful Saggies. Okay, so let's first start with the person that you could be connecting to around this time. Let's see how they feel about you. We have the Four of Pentacles. This is Earth energy coming through. Their intentions. The High Priestess. This is Major Arcana for Pisces. Their behavior and actions towards you for the remainder of the month. The Knight of Pentacles. This is more Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Your feelings towards this person. The Four of Cups, Moon and Cancer energy. The Challenge, what's in your blind spot. The Ace of Cups, more water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And your potential outcome for the rest of the month. The Three of Wands, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Your Advice, Judgment, Major Arcana for Scorpio. And the overall energy that's influencing your love life right now. The Page of Cups, more water energy, influenced by the Ten of Swords and Justice. Okay, so the message that I'm getting off of this strongly, Sagittarius, is that you have a person coming towards you with love and affection post breakup, and you may not be ready for this person's love offer just yet, is what I'm kind of getting. It's like you're still dealing with the aftermath of a recent rejection, a recent, you know, situation that didn't play out the way that you wanted it to. And now you have somebody trying to start something new with you and it's giving me the vibe that you're not ready yet. Or for some of you, it's someone that's trying to reconcile with you and you're not feeling ready to either take this person back or to hear what they have to say. All right, we will see what's going on, we will see. Because with your advice being judgment, they're really asking you to judge the situation carefully, okay? Because there's someone coming to you with a love offer with this Four of Cups. Because if you look at this card, that water bottle is the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups is showing up in your challenge, okay? You've got someone coming to you with a love offer, whether it's a new person after a breakup or the person that you actually broke up with. And they're really wanting you to reevaluate the love offer and ask yourself if you're either ready to start something new or if it's with the person that you already went through some obstacles with. Has it been enough time for you guys to like figure things out before trying to re reunite with each other or to like pick up where you left off? Okay, judgment is that time where we release what no longer serves us in our life. You know, who's really there for us when we need them? Who's really someone that we can count on and trust and who we want to be there for as well. All right. And judgment is also about forgiveness. It's all about like not holding on to any grudges or anything like that. But, you know, just releasing any heavy energy off of your heart. You know, only judging ourselves for what we did and in the hopes that other people are judging themselves for how they showed up in our life. This is scorpionic energy. So you've got someone this week that's coming towards you. They're planning some sort of, you know, way of approaching it with that Knight of Pentacles. They're being very slow about it. They're being very cautious about it. it it's just, it's telling me that somebody here knows that to approach you, 
you know, without thinking something through may just backfire on them. Okay, so I feel like you've got this energy about you, Sagittarius, that tells me that you have a lot to look forward to with the Three of Wands being your outcome from, from May. They're showing me that there's something that you're really wanting for yourself, really manifesting for yourself that's on the way with the Three of Wands. And it's just really up to you to decide whether it's involving whoever this person is that's showing up in your reading today or something else. And it doesn't even have to be related to love. It could be focused on your career goals or other personal goals, things like that. This is where clarifying is gonna help me. But there is something exciting heading towards you. All right, I absolutely love that card. So looking at this person's intentions with you, I am getting that whoever this person is, whether new or returning, their intentions is to keep a low profile. Their intentions is to be in the mindset of less is more because the high priestess when it shows up as intentions that's the intent to keep some things a secret to keep some things private to like keep not only a curtain across your window into your world into your life but a blackout curtain where not even the tiniest bit of light can shine through this person's playing it safe with the four pentacles as their feelings so you got someone that's coming towards you with a love offer, but at the same time, the Four of Pentacles talks about being very closed off emotionally. So it's kind of contradicting itself. Like for example, um, if you look at the original Ride Await card of the Four of Pentacles Sagittarius, you'll see a man sitting on a chair and he's got one foot on each pentacle, a pentacle on his head, and a big old pentacle right in front of his heart chakra. As if to say, you know, 3D world, is more important than anything else money status you know what you can do for someone else things like that and not really being open using your heart not using your heart okay so this person is coming to you with a, an offer but you know i want to see why the ace of cups is in your challenge position because the ace of cups in your challenge position could tell me that you have someone coming towards you with a with a love offer but it may not be as sincere or it may quickly turn into an unrequited situation the moment you know someone starts to finally give attention to it. You know, kind of like those connections where a person will pursue you really hard, and then when you finally say, "Okay, let's go on a date or a second date," and all of a sudden they just like pump the brakes, and then the level of activity and effort just drops flat lines big time. All right, so let's see what's going on because there's something happening here where you're feeling hurt about something and you feel like there's someone around you for the remainder of may that's leaving you feeling like you have to like reevaluate things with that judgment let's start off with this person's feelings for you we have the four of pentacles now the four of pentacles is feeling like someone is very valuable this person sees you as valuable in their life for what reason we'll see why the Four of Pentacles? The World card and the Three of Cups. Now, the World card and the Three of Cups. Your person is saying that they want to date you, okay? Because the Three of Cups, when it's read in a love reading, could indicate dating, reuniting with somebody, things like that. The World card indicates a new, you know, a cycle getting ready to begin, but a, a, the original one needing to close out first. So it's almost the energy of kind of being in limbo with one chapter closing for a new one to begin. And that could be why the Ace of Cups is in the challenge position. Some sort of cycle hasn't completely closed out for somebody here in order for a new one to begin. Whether it's you haven't made peace with the past yet, so you're not really ready to accept this person's new love offer, or this is someone that you had some problems with and you guys have not looked at your underlying issues to see if you've resolved them in order to, to give it another go. Because the Ten of Swords is nothing to, to laugh at. The Ten of Swords is betrayal, it's breakups, it's being you know hurt by the ones you gave a lot of love to. It's feeling stabbed in the back, okay? I'm looking at that surveillance camera, so for some of you, this person's keeping an eye on you knowing when to approach you but they want your attention whoever this person is this is jupiter energy jupiter and leo and then i see the lovers card um i want to get another card off of this because i'm looking at this three of cups and it kind of connects to your energy right here because the four of cups in this art depiction shows you looking at three cups right here two are spilt over one is left standing okay Clarify 
this person's feelings again. Why the Three of Cups? Someone here may have tried to like keep this as a friendship only. The Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands, clarifying the Three of Cups, could indicate somebody here was trying to mask the relationship as like a situation ship, a casual ship, a friends with benefits situation, things like that. Because the Knight of Wands to the Three of Cups as someone's feelings, that's the energy of dating somebody but very casually, okay? And you're showing me that you're not interested in that. Whether this is a returning person or a new person, you feel like the love offer that this person is giving you, you feel like they could do better. You're like totally bored with what this love offer is. You want something a little bit more exciting, something that will really like activate that sacral chakra, the solar plexus, that ace of wands energy that you really, you know, count on. You're a fire sign. You love the ace of wands. It's your main staple. So if something's not giving you a internal yes, you, you, you stop for a second and you reevaluate why you're feeling a certain way. I hope this is making sense, Edge. I really do. For some of you, there could be just two energies around you. You got one that's trying to come back into your life, still showing up the same way as before, thinking that you're gonna be like, oh, sure, come come back. And then possibly a new one that is coming towards you when you're still trying to make sense of why another situation didn't work out. Why is Sagittarius's feelings the Four of Cups? The Emperor and the Empress. Oh, wow, look at that. You're wanting the relationship that you deserve. The Emperor and the Empress, that's two people coming together to work together as a team. They wanna build a life together, have children together, or have a whole bunch of fur babies together. It's the energy of wanting to build an empire together, to love each other unconditionally and always be by each other's sides. That's a divine partnership. Okay, that's what you're wanting for yourself, Sagittarius. And if you feel like someone's not coming towards you as an emperor or an empress, depending on your gender, um, you don't want to. You don't want to bother with it. You're just like, you know what? After judging the situation with the judgment card, I think I'm just gonna wait it out and see what else is coming towards me. I'm just gonna see what else is out there. You know, maybe there's something that's available for me that is amazing for me that I don't see just yet. My vision is blocked. You know. And that's what I'm getting. <sighs> wow. It's like thinking that you're limited to just the options that are in front of you, not realizing that a little bit further out is like the option that you would really be excited about. But because it's not right in front of you, it's kind of hard to have faith that it's there. Um, but you're needing to use your intuition here. I said that to somebody recently. Who was it? Was it Leo? Let's take a look at this person's intentions. Their intentions is the High Priestess. Tell me about the High Priestess, please. Tell me about the High Priestess, please. The Six of Cups and the High Priestess again. And then the Eight of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, this is someone that turned their back on you just to return again once they realized, oh, okay, <laughs> I don't have better options than Sagittarius. Let me just rewind. You know, realizing how much you're valuable and how much they now see your worth. But in your defense, you may be thinking, hey, you should have seen my value, my worth all along. That ain't my problem. You know, how can I trust you again? You know, you could be saying, I'm definitely getting like two energies all of a sudden. At first, I was thinking it was either one or the other, but the more I'm diving into this reading, Sagittarius, it's feeling like you've got someone coming back around after not seeing what they had originally, and then there's a new person coming in, and you may be kind of worried that it's too soon after the last failed attempt at love. Because pages are new people. Sometimes they can be a person we already know and they're just coming in in a new, fresh way or coming in with an open apology. But with the Ace of Cups being here and the Page of Cups, that's two different love offers. Unless this person's coming to you with two offers, being like, hey, this is offer number one, this is offer number two, which one do you want? I just want you to accept one of them. But I'm not getting that. For some of you, there's two people showing up. This person may be what's around the corner Okay, and you've got a decision to make. Do you want to accept someone who you already know what they're all about, 
because it's very rare for humans to do something just one time. We're creatures of patterns and behaviors and habits, you know, or, you know, just be like, I want something brand new. I want something new, you know, I'll get to that. We'll get to that. But the Six of Cups is an indication that someone intends to return after they've done some internal work. Ace of Cups, um, rewind. King of Cups, Page of Cups wanted to hop out just as I was talking about that. Look at that. That's a lot of love coming through your reading. But, you know, I've, I'm strongly getting split energies here. I got one that's ready to step in and be a king of cups, regardless of gender, and another one that, you know, may just be lost right now and don't know where they want to direct their energy, but know that they don't want someone else to have you if they think that this could be it, you know? It's like, it's like holding on to you while they figure out what they want so that way in the meantime someone else doesn't scoop you up but then what if they eventually realize, yeah, I actually am sticking with my original thought. I'm not ready, you know, and you've missed out on meeting other people because they were holding on while they figured out what they wanted to figure out. So let's clarify the challenge. The challenge is the Ace of Cups. It's a, it's a clear love offer from someone with emotions for you. But when it's in a challenge position, it's like... I don't know, someone giving a love offer out of fear of you moving on so quickly or just because there's aspects of you that they really love even if they're not wanting the whole like long-term package. The Wheel of Fortune. Now when the Wheel of Fortune shows up in the challenge position, it's the energy of something not being in your highest favor, all right? Not being, you know, what you're going to feel very lucky to accept. Because the Wheel of Fortune, when it's in a regular position, Sagittarius, that's the energy of feeling like your luck is turning, you're finally feeling lucky, you're feeling like everything's working out in your highest good. But when it's in the challenge position, I read it reverse. That talks about no change, like someone coming in acting like they've changed, but there actually has not been any work to change. So it's like, say, uh, like, I don't know, it's like promising you the world, but still giving you what you got before. Um, it's something not working out in your favor. It's also just, it's going to restrict you a little bit. So it feels like, yeah, there's two different people showing up. So let's clarify your person's behavior. Whoever you were dealing with originally, that's the one that's showing up right here. And I feel like I have a new person coming through and that's connecting to these two. Why the Knight of Pentacles? The Two of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Death card. It could be a fellow fire sign, doesn't have to be. This is the energy of Leo. Um, the Two of Swords is a very indecisive energy. It's also the energy of two people either ignoring each other right now, so it could have been like a week or two since you guys have last spoken to each other. It's someone coming towards you very slowly and cautiously with a commitment offer, um, but coming in very fast and furious when it comes to igniting the passion, sex, those type of things, all right? So it's like slow to commit, but not slow for the other stuff. It feels like you got someone that's very attracted to you and their main intention now is to like prevent you from meeting anyone new. I don't like that. I don't like that. It's like you should want to return for the right reasons, not because you're afraid something else is going, someone else is going to scoop you up. So let's clarify this page of cups because it's feeling new. And then I open up to the death card and the ten of swords. Okay, that's a clear indication that something should end for something new to begin. Clarify this Page of Cups, Ten of Swords. The Five of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So there's a lot of pain surrounding this Ten of Swords. And now I'm also seeing the Justice, which could indicate some of you have gone through maybe a divorce or you thought someone was going to be the one that you were going to marry. And then you have this other person coming towards you with this King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles energy. The King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, that's somebody that's coming in with a love offer that actually connects to eventually making long-term plans. It's someone that's ready for something serious. Okay. But with that Five of Cups being there, it's like you're trying to judge the situation carefully and ask yourself, are you still grippling with old hurt and pain from the last situation? Are you ready to get into something new again so that, you know, it, it has a fresh new start? Or should you just take something slow? Because if you start something new with somebody while you're still dealing with the pain of the last situation, it's going to 
put a damper in your new connection. At least that's what I'm getting in this reading. Take it however it resonates. Your outcome for the rest of the month of May is the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands could also talk about travel. Like you're going to travel um, very soon and you might meet someone while you're traveling or there's someone that could be at a distance from you right now that Spirit is trying to align with you to where you guys can get together organically by the Three of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So they're showing me a single Saggy with that Nine of Pentacles waiting to step out of their comfort zone with the Two of Wands to explore New Horizons Three of Wands in order to find that fourth wand, which is a solid partnership. Okay, they're, they're guiding you to stay single for the time being, focus all on yourself, pour into Sagittarius, and the right one will start to come along when the time is ready. All right, not to feel like you have to rush just to have that person by your side. You know, that's what they're telling me, okay? So let's clarify the advice. Now, you do what you gotta do. Remember, this is just a weekly update. You know, things could definitely change. You could end up next week feeling more optimistic about whoever this person is. Just this week, something may feel a little bit too fresh and you may be hurt and angry about something. Why the judgment as Sagittarius advice? The Three of Swords, Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups, and Temperance. Temperance is your major arcana, by the way. Your advice is to, you know, not feel like you have to rush. If you feel like something is like putting a lot of pressure on you or someone's putting a lot of pressure on you, Ten of Wands, in regards to, you know, something that has been very painful for you to deal with, take things slow and wait until you feel balanced in your emotions where you're not going back and forth between I will, I won't, I can, I can't. Wait until it's like a consistent yes or a consistent no before giving anyone a yes or no response. But with that eight of cups being there, that's a clear indication that there's something you need to turn your back on in order to keep it moving forward. Okay, now if you're in no contact with somebody right now or in a situation ship, I'm gonna pull their hidden feelings for you. But based off of this reading, Sagittarius, you've got two options. Actually, you have more because we have infinite timelines that we can step into. Um, you've got the timeline of giving to someone that you've already experienced a love connection with, but it already has at least one failed attempt attached to it um, and some broken trust. Or you can choose the timeline of focusing on yourself for the time being, do what makes you feel good, fuels your soul, and a new connection will be right around the corner with the vibration of, you know, something fresh, something you've never experienced before because it's going to take you out of your comfort zone. Like it's going to be somebody that you never thought you would ever date before, like totally opposite from what your usual type is and you're going to experience new experiences. You're going to learn more about yourself by interacting with people that you're not so like familiar to. That's what's kind of showing me. They're showing me that your next person is going to be somebody that is totally out of the norm for you to date and it's going to open up your world to new experiences, new, new possibly new culture new new types of personalities, new foods, new locations to travel, especially with you dressed up as someone that is traveling and exploring. That's not gonna be for everybody. Now for zodiac signs that came through this reading, Sagittarius, I have Aries, Taurus, Libra. I have Cancerian energy, Scorpio is here, Sagittarius is here, Pisces is here, fixed energy, but it could be any zodiac sign, okay? and I'll be checking in for your um, June monthly here in a few days. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, and if you would like to book a private reading with me, Sagittarius, the link to my website can be found in the description box below of every video. I also go live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with the All Signs, Their Feelings for You spread, where I do a reading similar to this, but you see my face, I interact with you live on camera. I will link the most recent one I did the other day in the description box below this video, because it's good for the week ahead. Okay, so it gives you another perspective if this did not resonate. I also did three other May love readings in my May playlist. All right, your sounds feel safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again. I have to be in contact with you again. I miss you too much. Yeah, that was the theme I was picking up at Jump. I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. I said that earlier with the surveillance camera. Someone's keeping an eye on you, watching you like a hawk. This person's watching you like a hawk. 
I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger and I can't control them. Yeah, if someone's watching you like a hawk Sagittarius, they can't get over you. They, they regret making a decision that hurt the relationship and now they want to come back around. But my heart is feeling like there's something else coming towards you. But you got to have to do what you got to do. Don't make a decision off of a tear reading. All right, so that's for you Sagittarius. I love you. I'll check back with you in a few days. All right, take care.